Speaker view. All right, Albert, Iris, the floor is yours. All right. Iris, thank you so much for joining me in this Zoom meeting. I'm so excited about getting your home in the market and most importantly, getting it sold. And also, thank you for that video you sent me about your uh, for your property. I got to see that inside. And, you know, it confirms your house is ready to be sold. And I'm so excited to get you some offers in there and get you to the next property. Now, I wrote down some questions. So I will be looking down from time to time. And I also wrote some notes. I want to make sure I address everything, okay? Okay. Now, the first question I wrote here is, Iris, do you absolutely have to sell? Yeah, I do have to sell because I have um, I have a new job. Okay, great. Congratulations. You're welcome. Now, Thank you. question number two is, would you list your home to sell or do you want to keep it in the market for a long period of time? Well, I don't want to keep it on the market for a long time, but I don't want to give my home away because I have to sell it. Well, Iris, in 20 years, I have not given a home away. I'm definitely not going to start with yours. Fair enough? Okay. Okay. Oh, great. Now, third and most important question is, do you want me to handle the sale for you? Well, you came highly recommended by my neighbor, but I still want to hear what you have to say. Okay. Well, I appreciate the opportunity. Now, at the end of my presentation, Iris, one of three things will happen. Number one, you will have the opportunity to list your home with me. Number two, you may decide not to list your home with me. Or number three, I may decide not to take your listing. And Iris, I want you to be clear that any of them three is okay with me. Wait, uh, wait a minute, Albert. I don't understand. You said you don't take my listing. What did you mean? Well, I just don't want to take your listing. I want to make sure that you, your expectations are aligned with the, today's market. And if you and I don't agree on terms and conditions, I don't want to waste your time. I just want to make sure I'm fair enough with you from the giggle. Fair enough? Oh, okay. Okay, awesome. Now... Let's quickly review the questions that I asked you over the phone, okay? Now, you say you were moving to LA, correct? Yes. And say you say you were moving because of a job transfer. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. A little promotion. Congratulations. That's Thank exciting. you. Yeah. Great. Now, you say you need to be there by mid-May, correct? Yes, mid-May, yes. So that pretty much leaves us like just about two months, just enough to get your property in the market, get it sold so you can be there on time, correct? Right, yeah. I only have, um, in two months, I, I will be in my, I have to be in my new job. Okay, awesome, awesome. Now, you say you want to prize your home at 540, is that right? Yes, minimum. Minimum, okay, great. Now, you say you're 250, is that right? Correct, uh-huh. Okay, perfect. Now, Iris, you won't plan on selling it yourself, were you? Well, no, I don't think so. I don't know what to do. That's not my profession. All right, all right. And by the chance, do you want to finance for the buyer or do you want all your cash out? Oh, I want my cash out, every penny. Okay, great. Now, there's only two issues we need to look at today. Number one is your motivation to sell this home. And number two is the price that we together as a team set on your home. Okay. All right? Now, I prepare what we call a comparison market analysis. Now, there's two parts to this research. Part one, we call it fantasy land. What's some seller's list, and unfortunately, they can't sell it. Part two, we call reality. What professional realtors like myself list and sell homes for, okay? Now, Iris, you're going to have to spend, uh, you're going to have to figure out today where you want to spend your time, all right? Okay. All right, perfect. Now, the purpose for a comparison market analysis is to determine the value of your home in the eyes of the buyer. Iris, do you know how buyers determine value? Mm, they probably just like shopping, look at this home, look at that home and find the home that they like the best or and also if, uh, the price is right. Absolutely. We call that comparison shopping. They look around at the properties, base it on the features and benefits of your property and compare with features and benefits of other properties that are currently in the market or that recently sold. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess, yes. I like to use the car example just to better get, get more clear on it. I noticed you have a BMW on the, on the driveway. So let's say you want to get the latest model. So you go to dealer A and they offer you the car that you want for $90,000. Now, being that you are a smart shopper, you're going to go to a second dealer. Dealer B offers you the exact same car for 90000 
But this one includes the sports package, which is seat warmers, the, the wheels, navigation, all the blows and whistles. Iris, which one has more value for you at this time? Then I will pick the one that co comes with more stuff for the same price. Hi, you're getting more for, for your money, correct? Yeah. What if the dealer A, the first one, comes back and say, hey, Iris, you know that car you came over to see yesterday? We have an uh -huh. additional $15,000 less. So now you're getting that for $75,000. Which one has more value for you now? Then I will buy the cheaper one. I like bargain. You like bargains, right? Yeah. Perfect. So as you can see that if you want to increase value, A, lower the price, or B, add more features and benefits. Which, by the way, are you thinking of adding more features and benefits to your home? Oh, no. Do I have to? Well, that's a great question. Price is the only issue we need to look at tonight, all right? So can I show you what I mean? Sure. All right. I'm actually going to share my screen right now, and I'm going to go over the comparables that I included in the package, all right? Okay. Awesome. Okay. Iris, do you see my screen? Uh, yes, I see your screen. I see the screen now, yes. Perfect, perfect. Now, we are looking at the map, map that shows the location of your property. If you see the purple heart that's actually behind the yellow, the yellow balloon, not purple oh, heart. Sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that actually represents the location of your property, okay? Mm -hmm. Now I included more than the ones we're gonna go over. So we're only gonna go over the top three that are more similar to your property just to respect your time, all right? Okay. Okay. So let's first make sure the information to your property is correct. Now here's your property, 2215 Wilma Avenue. It's three bedrooms, one bathroom, 889 square feet, correct? Yeah. Is that information correct? Uh, yeah, three, okay. um, that's right. Awesome, awesome. So let's look at the first comparable. 1522 South Duncan Avenue. Okay, how many bedrooms? Two. Okay, how many bathrooms? One. Okay, and you notice the square feet, it's a little bit less than yours. How many square feet is that? 648. Now there's not many properties that are very identical as far as square footage, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna show you other ones that will make sense, all right? Now look how much they list this property for. 390,000. And look how much it's actually it actually closed for. Three hundred ninety. Oh, okay. So for full price. Yeah, full price. And look how many days it was in the market. Wow, zero. Zero. Iris, did you ever see this property? No. Yeah, there's a good chance you didn't see it because it was actually an investor property. Uh, it needed a lot of uh, remodeling. So I gotta say your property is definitely better than this one, okay? Okay, okay. I'm gonna show you. I'm not going to sell it for 390. Oh no, we're not. We're gonna go over the price on that one. Let's take a look at the other uh, property so you can get a better picture of the value in your neighborhood, okay? Now this one, 2513 Kurt Avenue. How many bedrooms? Three. Three, how many bathrooms? Wow, they have three bathrooms. Yeah, and this is actually, again, one of the most similar to your property. How many square feet? 1,131, okay. And how many days in the market? Seven days, one week, yeah. The now homes are selling so fast. Yeah, that's a good time. It'll work for your your schedule, correct? Um. So, yeah, I, I guess, yes. Okay, yeah, just so you know that, Number seven represents that, that time that it took them to actually put it in the market, negotiate an offer, and put it into escrow. Now, keep in mind, we still got another additional 30 days or 45 days, depending on the type of financing that the buyer is going to do. Oh, I'm glad you explained. I thought I had to move in a week. No, I cannot no, do that. No, 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 that's not the case. Now, let's look, look at the price that they actually listed for. Listed for 560 Yeah. Now here's the interesting thing, Iris, with the right pricing strategy from the giggle, look what they ended up selling it for. 575, wow, okay. Interesting, right? $15,000 more. Yeah, now let's look at that actual inside of the property. Did you ever get a chance to see this property? Oh, no. No, okay. Well, here it is. They actually did some serious uh, 
upgrades to it. Can you tell they did the new floor? They did a, they painted the entire house. I'm not sure if the kitchen was actually remodeled, but I'll tell you, it's in great moving condition, which is similar to yours. Do, do you see the pictures? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me bring it down a little bit. Okay. So how would you rate this house in comparison to your property? You mean this one? Yes. Um, it, it looks, it looks pretty good. Great. Great. Now let's go over the last comparable and that is number, here it goes. Okay. This property, it's actually a, couple of houses from your house, literally your neighbor. Did you notice your neighbor actually just sold their house? Uh, yeah, I saw the sign, but uh, I didn't know they were sold. Yeah, did, did you see the inside? Oh, no. No, and look, it's very similar to yours. How many bedrooms is that? Two. Two, how many bathrooms? One. One. What about the square feet? 850. Yeah. So they, uh, they, this, it's very similar to my home. Mm -hmm. It is. And I like have one more extra bedroom, big red bedroom. You're right. And we're going to take that in consideration when we decide the price. Fair okay. enough. Okay. Now how many days in the market? Wow. One day. One day. Would that work for your schedule? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now look at the price. The listed price, uh, four hundred, almost five hundred thousand. And look, right now we can't tell how much it actually selling, but I do happen to know the agent. I walked inside, I saw the property, and the condition is moving condition, but the the sales price is actually ten thousand above asking price. All right. Wow. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna stop sharing the document now. Okay, Iris. Now that you're seeing. What's selling in your neighborhood and for what price? What price do you feel we should use in order to create value in the eyes of the buyer and get them to make an offer on your property versus the competition? Mm, I think um, I have to sell at least 540000 540000 Yeah. Okay. 540000 Okay. Iris. Let me ask you, what price do you absolutely have to have? Yeah, I have to sell it for, yeah. Mm, well, maybe I can give a $10,000 discount between $530, $540? $530, Well, Irish, now that we've seen these prices and what actually selling in your neighborhood, I'm going to recommend the price of $510. Would you, Iris, list your home with me for 510 today so that I can help you get on time where you want in the time you want? Won't that be great? Uh, Albert, 510, that's not what I want. I wasn't prepared for that low. I think that's too low. You think it's too low? Now, let me ask you specifically, why, excuse me, why do you feel your house is worth $30,000 more than the competition? Well, as you see, Albert, right now you see the home are selling so fast and the market is very hot. And um, I remodeled the kitchen, the bathrooms, and uh, new paint, a new four floor 10 years ago, but they are like new. They're like new, right? Yeah. I understand. Irish, let me ask you, when you first did those remodels in the kitchen and the bathroom, did you do that for yourself or did you do it thinking about the next buyer? Oh, I did that for myself. I wasn't thinking to sell it back then, no. Right. And did you enjoy it? Oh, absolutely. Good, good. good. Now, in today's standards, do you basically just put it in selling standards? Oh, All right. selling every, standard. Yeah, every property needs a kitchen moving ready, right? And the bathroom needs to be moving ready, correct? Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. So, Iris... Would you list your home with me for the price today? All you need to do now is just simply sign the contract through a DocuSign that I already sent you and send your inbox. And if you have any questions, I can go ahead and stay online with you just to make sure that I can address them. If not, I can go ahead and hang up, sign them, and I'll make sure I'll address any questions later on if you want. Fair enough? Well, um, if 
Albert, if I have to drop my price, can uh, can you cut your commission? No. Any other questions? Well, the other agent said they would. Yeah. Okay. You know, I can appreciate that. Can I tell you what that makes me nervous? Uh, sure. Tell me. If the other agent doesn't have the courage to stand up to you regarding their own worth, Iris, how strong can they possibly be defending you and the price we set on your home? Mm -hmm. Iris, I have the courage. Do you think I can sell your home? Yeah, I think you can sell my home. Okay, great. Then all we need to do now is simply sign those DocuSign forms that I already sent you so I can help you get what you want and the time you want. Wouldn't that be great? Here, let's do the right thing. Put me to work, sign those docu forms, and we'll get you started right away. Well, Albert, actually, before before I talked to you, um, there there were other agents that oh, they they could uh, list my home, for, sell my home for for, for more money. Mm -hmm. That's that's how I came up with five forty. You know what? And I totally understand. Today's market, there's a lot of desperate agents out there, and you know, any agent that will list your property overpriced. They assume they can take your listing now, and then they start beating you up on the price week after week after week. Iris, is that what you want? Oh, no. You don't no. have a time for that, correct? Yeah, I don't like people play games. Absolutely. You want the truth, correct? Yes. This is the right thing, Iris. Put me to work so I can get you there on time. All we need to do now is sign the documents so I can help you get what you want and the time you want. What but you but you can sell you can help me try to sell my home as much as possible, right? Absolutely, that is my ultimate goal to make sure I maximize all the equity you already have. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Answer and make sure you sign all the documents. If you have any questions, give me a call. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Thank Iris. You, okay. Thank you. I'm so excited about getting your property in the in the market. All right. I'll talk okay. to you. Okay. Okay. Talk to you soon. Yay. Whoa. <laughs> Anyone there? Good job, Albert. I was so nervous. No nervous. <laughs> you were nervous. Good job. Good job. Good job. That was so amazing. Great. Good job. You didn't Good sound good. Good job, Albert. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh. All right, good I job. Did. All right, so what do, what do we have feedback wise for Mr. Albert Santos? Good, bad, ugly, indifferent? No, no bad, no bad, no bad. <laughs> uh, I like hey, uh, Robert. Yep. Yeah, I like his um, uh, PowerPoint presentation. It was very smooth. You know, it wasn't a lot of stuff. You know, he just goes change from one to the other real smooth. I think that was good. I agree. Good job. Thank you, Delroy. Delroy, that's because Albert's smooth. Yeah, that's actually, that's, that's kind of what I figured too. <laughs> I was going to say new, uh, very smooth, uh, good timing. And uh, you were very, um, so where you pronunciated every word. So it's very well. You always call me about pronunciation. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, All with love. <laughs> no, no, she does. She always tells me, hey, you need to articulate. And I was like, I know. So here I am talking like this. <laughs> Thank you. I am so impressed, Albert. Thank you. It, it was great. Neil, you know, I was thinking when I was listening to this going on, and Iris is darling. Um, do you remember before I joined your company, you had you had an agent that you convinced Mike Berry to let her be the listing agent on stage. I think her name was Monica. Monica Diaz. Monica Diaz, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so um, that was before my time with you. And Neil. Josie, I don't remember anything before you. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, all, you know, I think, I know because of Zoom and your encouraging us to do our listing presentations every week, if not more often, yeah. look at the, quality of presentations you have oh, developed. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. It's fantastic. And it's just, it's the, the proof is in the practice. You know, it's, it's, it's not that anyone's doing anything amazingly, incredibly, it's not like brain surgery where we're doing that. 
We're just doing our job every day over time. Yeah, you know, Albert, the truth is, I think what Josie might be saying is there was a time you weren't practicing at this level. Correct. Right? Yes, and absolutely. And that from that time, not that long ago till this time is a marked improvement one day at a time. Is that kind of what you're saying, Josie? Yeah. Right. Great stuff. Yeah. Really, really good stuff. I'm curious, Iris, you were on the receiving end and you were focused on what he was doing. How did you feel? How did he make you feel? Um, I feel, yes, he presents very well and uh, very conversational and he shows confidence. And then at the end, um, he handled the objection, uh, reinforced the confidence that he has on himself and also he had uh, the, uh, the confidence that he's giving me. So um, thumbs up. Thank you, I appreciate it. Good job. Any other uh, positive thoughts, things like that, that we can share with him? <laughs> yes, Albert did a great job, actually, just following the Mike Perry's script, not a, no extra conversation, straight to the point, handle the objections. That's what the Mike expects from all those Mike Perry trained agents. No extra conversation. Go ahead. A lot of closings. Was good. Perfectly fine. I appreciate it. Good. Excellent. Pause, I get the feeling that you want to make a comment. Yeah, it was very uh, smooth and clear. Great job, Albert. Thank you, I appreciate Beautiful. it. Good, excellent. Anyone else? So my feedback on, on this, Albert, was I, I thought you did a great job. I mean, just like everyone says, you're very smooth, things along those lines. I think your ability to smile a lot makes the presentation a lot easier and, and you're constantly smiling and, and things like that. And I, I think, you know, Neil brought this up um, to someone earlier. We were watching another listing presentation is the power of a smile goes a long way. And, and you smile a lot the whole time. You're like excited you're, it feels like you're generally excited about helping, in this case, Iris get her home sold. That's interesting you're saying that, Robert, because I literally work on the smiling part of it because the same way I can see, seem to be smiling all the time, I honestly feel like I can come across like I'm serious, too mean, or, or just too dead, if anything, you know, for lack of better words, like so. Well, so well, I, whatever's going on is starting uh, to work. Yeah, so no, it, it, it comes across. You're smiling a lot, which was, re which was really good. So I think you did that very well. The, uh, the comps you did very well. I mean, I don't know. You, you probably weren't seeing me in my little box over here, but when she gave you the objection and you went right into it, I started you know, doing my little happy dance, like, oh, he's going to nail it. And uh, objections, I, you just went I, right into it. And you didn't say, um, one time on those objections, which is really, really impressive. So clearly the practice there working out. Um, my only thing that I would say is it's okay if she says yes. Hmm. Like she said yes, and then you got a little too excited and kind of were talking a little fast there at the end as soon as she said yeah. yes, like, oh my God, she did. I better wrap this up before she changes her mind. <laughs> you know, so. As soon as she says yes, great. Let's sign the contract to help you get what you want in the time you want. Like just, you know, slow down there after she says yes. Yeah, the nurse. Uh, but that's a good problem to have. Okay, so overall did awesome. excellent job. So, very, very impressed. Good stuff. Thank you. I, I, Albert, uh, are you open for just a teeny bit of coaching? Of all of it, all of it. I wouldn't have it any other way, Neil. Well, I'm, I'm going to use this because I think it's a great example of what happens to us. And it was toward the end in the objection handle. Yeah. And she took you through, I want to say three objections. But I, I, the one I remembered was she wanted to get, I guess more money was the, the thing, right? You yeah, forgot Chinese the always want, want more money. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if the box didn't close, so let me ask you something, Iris. It sounds like you want to get more money and you want to price the property higher, right? 
Yes. So let me ask you a question. Is there anything else besides the price that you're concerned with tonight? Um, no, the price is the most concern. Um, okay. So if we can come together on the price, will you sign the contract tonight? Uh, yeah. Great. And I go handle the price and I ask her to sign. Mm. Okay, we've got uh -huh. to box our clients in or they're gonna lead us around and we're gonna get in this objection and this objection and this objection, okay? That's the only, other than that, it was picture perfect. I appreciate it, thank you. Now, Neil, how would you, uh, if I boxed her in, because you just actually early, we, I think it was, yeah, early, you told me about, we had a conversation about the boxing, but uh, how would I handle that uh, prize given that it's a concern for her and I already set the price should I go be able to be more flexible and go up a little bit higher or let her have her, her way? It, so, so the message I want to get across is in my opinion right now, we really don't know what these houses are going to sell for, do we? Right. No, you're absolutely we really, really, really. The last sale was 500. She's asking 540. The last sale was a nicer house than hers. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Take the listing. You don't know. Got it. We have to stop fighting that price because we, and you could say to her, look, I got to tell you something. All the statistics say that this house is going to sell for 500. So something between 500 and 510 is what I think you should probably list the property for. I hear you want 540. We're in a crazy market. Let's take it at 540 and see what happens. Because you wouldn't be the first agent that said five, you'll never get 540. They list the house and end up with 560. Yeah, that's true. Right? <laughs> how, how many times does that happen? We sure. have to stop doing this, test the market, Let's put it on the market for two or three weeks. Let's see what happens. And if we're not getting the numbers you want, I'll come back and talk to you. We're not getting the prices or the offers that you want. I'll come back and talk to you because you still want to move to Chicago, right? Right. Nice. You still need to be there by uh, April 15th, right? Right. Okay. So we want to watch your time frame. So we'll put it on at 540. Get the signature. List the property, go forward. You guys with me on this? Yep. Don't lose a property for yes. commission and don't lose a property for pricing today, please. Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you for the feedback. Please. And if in doubt, call me. I'll remind you of what I just said, <laughs> right, Josie? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay, good job. All right, you guys are great. Terrific. Good work. You know, one thing that threw me off that I just wanted to say I never expected was that whenever I role play, which Iris is one of my uh, role playing partners for a listen presentation, I the know best. that her and I, her the and best. I, I'm sorry. Uh, the best. It's your your best, best role play partner. Uh, uh, it's just her and I. So I'm looking at her on the screen, right? This time, given there's so many faces, somebody exited or came into the screen where her face got moved around. I'm like, oh, shit, where is she? I'm playing tic-tac-toe here. And I'm like, you know what? So that kind of threw me off. And I don't know if it came across, but I started freaking so, out. So, Albert, the key to that is don't look at the box. Look at the camera. Yeah. So yeah, right I, now I'm looking at the camera, but it seems like I'm looking directly at you, right? Yes, yes. And, so you, right and now, right now I'm looking at you, but it kind of looks like I'm tilted because I'm not looking at the camera. So just look at the camera and present. Don't worry about her. And since you know the script so well, you can just keep looking at the camera and not have to worry about looking down and figuring out and all that other stuff. Now mm -hmm. you're right. In a regular presentation, they probably won't bring their whole family where there's 30 boxes. <laughs> okay, so you won't have that problem. But just as best practice, just look at the camera. Most folks, okay. Yeah, you said that before. Advice, Robert. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. So, Albert, anything else? Any ahas? Uh, 
Well, I always have that thing, and I'm sure everybody can relate to this, is that uh, to know it and feel comfortable with the script is one thing. To know that you are not being tested or, or, or seen by so many people, it's a whole different ballgame. You're, you just hope that you're ready and do your best because at the end of the day, you go to levels that you didn't even know you, of course, of nerves taking over. But, uh, you know, I guess the more you do, the better and more comfortable you feel. So, yeah, I guess practice, practice is the key. Well, I know Bert. Practice is the key, you guys. Practice is the key. Go ahead, Josie. Albert, I thought you were an actor. It's funny you say that, that because so you know <laughs> it's funny you say that because you would assume that that's probably a reason to be better at it, right? It's always the opposite. Robert, isn't that true about comedians? Yeah, that's true. That's why you were so good, Albert, because you are an actor. I was waiting for your comment, Armand. I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> it was showtime, and you hit showtime. There it was great. Right? I just heard someone say action in the background and I went for it. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate the opportunity and for staying on it. Great right, job. Guys. That's great. great. Job. So, Albert, well done. Great. 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 Great.